Smoke a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Put a nigga on or, 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 or do all that shit, right? And they say, oh, you got to get hot in your city first. Oh, you got to get hot in your hood first. I don't believe that. I don't believe you got to get hot in your hood. I don't got to believe you got to get hot in your city. None of that, because shit. Travis got hottest nigga in Houston. Him and South Walker, but South Walker got hot in the city, though. I give him that. But nigga ain't heard no more fucking Travis Scott in Houston until that nigga popped off. Let's keep it real. Yeah. Like, niggas knew him when he was younger, living out this motherfucking outlet. That's crazy. But niggas wasn't just really supporting bro like that. Not from what I see, and I'm a music head. I'm in tune with the music. Shit, motherfucker, I wasn't really showing bro no love out here. Now when he come back to this motherfucker, they treat bro like a god. For sure. But he popped off what? LA first. See what I'm saying? Probably Atlanta, Miami, some shit like that. It wasn't in Houston. He didn't get his big break in Houston. So that's why I'm a I say, I know you ain't gotta get hot in your city. You ain't gotta get hot in your hood. Nigga, the right motherfucker here, you popping your shit, bro. That's how it is to me. Nowadays in this rap game, you see what Gucci doing? I ain't never even heard of none of these motherfuckers he's signing, bro. Where the fuck is they from? I ain't never heard about their hood. I ain't never heard about, you know what I'm saying? What they get into, they get into the money, none of that. But he signed them niggas. Sure. All them niggas going. And all them niggas going. But one thing I can say about all them, they can rap. Yeah. Can't take it from them. I hear niggas debate me all day about food shice and food shice. Man, that shit basic. Yeah, it's basic, but you gotta listen to what he's saying. It ain't just a regular standard street rap shit. You see what I'm saying? He's saying some shit, though. He breaking scenarios down. You know what I'm saying? About the streets. Yeah, but then, like, the flip side on it, because I feel like, you know, Gucci has been doing his thing. And it's just like trap artists in general, they've been going up a lot. But. When you look at it, then a lot of trap artists also they they pop and they they get locked up just off of the the shit they are rapping the shit they live yeah. type shit. Yeah. And so, what's your opinion just on you know keeping that middle ground and not in, incriminating yourself? Because a lot of niggas they do that shit. They rap about <coughs> the shit they did and they have to draw the lines for the po like you said. It, yeah. it helped the police out. This is me. We got freedom of speech. You can rap. You can say whatever the fuck you want to say. <coughs> Don't put yourself in a position where these folks to be in your business. I'm just leaving leave it right there. Because I'm going to give me some money. I'm just speaking on Kenno. I ain't speaking on them. You know what I mean? I'm going to give me some money. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Nobody tell me about it. Until the motherfuckers say, hey, Kenno, we're going to give you a job. We're going to give you 10000 a week. 10000 a week. You know what I'm saying? Until that happens, bro, I'm gonna give me some money. Cause I've been a felon since since I was 15. I've been a felon. So like, think about me going to get jobs. Yeah, yeah. I'm tatted. I've been tatted since I was 17. See what I'm saying? Come out the penitentiary with most tattoos. You know how that the stigma is. Nowadays, now, but how a nigga came in. Yeah. yeah. You had a tattoo. Oh, you was a gang by you. You was a thug. You, come on, you ain't get no job here. You know what I'm saying? So. I'ma just say this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. My business ain't show business, so don't let your business be show business. You know what I'm saying? We can rap, we got freedom of speech. Motherfucker can't tell us who we what we can and can't talk about. Motherfucker can't tell us what we can and can't emphasize. You know what I'm saying? Can't you can't control what, what come on mom, bro. What come on mom? You see it all day, these uh, rap niggas be lying and they rap. We see it all day. They make fun of these niggas who they say be lying and they rap. But to me, it's a smart move. I want you to feel like I'm lying in my rap. Please think I'm a hoe. Please think I'm pussy. Yeah, please. <coughs> I accept all of that. I ain't that nigga get on the internet and be talking crazy with you. <coughs> For what? <coughs> when I see you in real life, nigga, I'm gonna let that be better. You went back and forth about the internet. That's another way niggas get caught. Oh, man, how thoughts how we got beef? I give you my joint, da 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 da. Fuck you, nigga, da da da. When I see you, nigga, I'm da 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 da. You do the same shit. I come up dead. You going to jail? 
You are going to jail. You. Not him, not him, not him. You. Me and you was on Instagram going back and forth talking about what we gonna do to each other. And something happened to me. You see what I'm saying? Niggas better wake up, doc. <laughs> Niggas better wake up. Cause this shit is, this, this is what that is. So. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. I mean, all that social media, Snapchats. All that shit, man. All that shit, for real. Tell the nigga, hey, nigga, these niggas out here on these hoes, only fans, they might not even be no bitch, nigga. You just paid to get knocked. Think about that. Don't tell, don't let that go in your head, nigga. Yeah, you just paid to get yourself knocked, nigga. Crazy as hell. Not me. I ain't doing that move.